There's reason to celebrate on day nine here in Winnipeg. After dropping their first two games, Canada's volleyballers fought back to earn a berth in the semifinal. Tonight in a men's semifinal, Canada meets mighty Brazil. Many stories and much for the fans to cheer. Stan, we're finally set to go. Volleyball men's semifinal. Paul Durden did warm up. We'll find out if he's playing. It's Canada, Canada against Brazil. And as promised, we check in with Mark Lee and Charles Parkinson. Their best player goes down. And the team goes with him. A shocking setback to Colombia. A disheartening defeat to Argentina. Then came Canada on the rebound, a sweep of the USA, and a surge to the medal round. Voici maintenant la formation partante de l'équipe du Brésil. And here Let's they go the tonight at Winnipeg Arena, 14, Canada Brazil. versus Brazil. Le In the second semifinal, Cuba is already through to the gold medal game uh, after beating uh, Argentina in four sets. Tonight, Brazil. it'll be Canada, Brazil for the other final position. And here's a development. Now there, the captain who has missed the entire tournament, Charles Parkinson, is starting tonight despite a broken finger suffered during the World League. What does that say about this lineup and how seriously they're taking Canada? Well, you know, Canada played Brazil four times in the last six weeks, and they actually beat Brazil in one of those matches. And they really need Bitten Courts to help them out, a sign of respect for this Canadian team. So Brazil starting its A team against Team Canada here tonight in this semi-final. The Canadians were really charged up, Charles, as they came up to the warm-out. They are facing a tough opposition here today. As you mentioned, they beat Brazil during the World League. They made some other big victories during this season, defeating Cuba to get into the World League and also defeating the Olympic champions from Holland. So Canada, one of the big stories in men's volleyball this year as they introduce the starting lineup from the University of Manitoba, the center, Scott Koski. Koski, the quarterback of this team, he'll distribute the ball and throughout this tournament, he's gotten better in involving all of the players on the team. Big Keith Sandheim, another former Bison, will be in the starting six, joined by Andy Zorowski, the top server in the tournament, and another former University of Manitoba player, and another and another. Martins, too, played with the Bisons under Garth Fischke. So a local flavor here tonight at home in Winnipeg. Steve Brinkman, a former Bison, and Murray Grappentine, right out of the University of Alberta, who has been a tower at the net for this Canadian team. Now, in the warm-ups, Paul Durden, their top player, was working out and it's amazing that just one week after suffering a terrible third-degree ankle sprain in the opening match against Colombia, he is back. It was in the fourth set against the Colombians. Going up for a block at the net, he came down on the ankle and was writhing in pain. It was a terrible accident. If you look closely at the bottom of your picture, Durden came right down and made a 90-degree twist to the ankle. And Charles, how surprising might it be that he make it into this lineup tonight? Well, I tell you, I can be, I, I've been exactly where he was. That's incredible pain. And to be back in a week is just unbelievable. We are underway. The first serve from Brazil. Sandheim mishandles the day. Kept in play, though. And Zorowski will give Brazil a free ball at the net. With a cross-court kill and some nerves on the Canadian side to open it. Yes, they're playing in a different arena as well. Players really have to settle down, move the feet, get the body in front of the ball. The ground looked like he injured himself on that kill shot. This time, Edwards has it. Tough passing for Canada early. Sandheim off the block. And a point for Canada is 1-1, and the Canadians will get the serve back. Nice swing from Keith Sandheim on the outside, going down the line off the small blocker, off their hands, and out of bounds. Steve Brinkman to serve for Canada. At the net, Jiba off the block and out. So they're hammering at each other early. 
Well, that's an X pattern. Brazil, the number one offensive team throughout this tournament statistically so far. 2-1 Brazil leading. Jiba to serve. At San, this time smoother in the pass. Rising up, dug out from the backcourt. Kept in play. Jiba winds up, stuffed block. Murray Graffentine taking control of the middle for Canada. Well, Graffentine and Jules Martins, very solid. Heads up play from Jiba. He's going to come out of the back row. Look at the Canadians extending up and over, rejecting the ball. Jules Martins, who is subbing for Paul Durden and has done a great job in this tournament. Now back. Polishes that one off. Even though you see his right hand is wrapped, the cast has come off and he is favoring the finger now. It was broken during the World League this summer. And if he gets hit in the hand when he's blocking, that could be a real blow for this Brazilian team. I'll tell you, that really hurts. Koski with a center's dunk. What a dig by Dubla. Still in play. Now Bear tried to roll it over. Zorowski now will roll it. The set far side. Now Bear with a touch shot. There's Sanheim, Koski, back row, Zorowski, and it's stuffed by Gustavo, the top blocker in the world. Well, Gustavo was the best blocker in the world championships. He's also been the best blocker in this tournament. He's got good court vision, good movement. He's a very big man, keeps those fingers spread wide apart and his eyes open. Canadians saying they're going to have to own the middle and force Brazil to the outside if they have any chance of the plan that worked. As you see, Graffentine drill that one down the pipe for a point. It was a plan that worked during the World League when Canada beat Brazil in Hull, Quebec. Well, that's right, and Brazil has only been the sixth best passing team in this tournament, so if Canada can keep them on their heels, they can take away that middle as an offensive option. Sandheim deep. Now Vera lets it go, and it's long. A point for Brazil, it's 5-3. Brazil leading Garth Bisney's Canadian team. The growl. The top attacker in this panic oh, game tournament with the serve. Edwards has it. Set far side, and Zorowski is long, and there's no touch. Point, Brazil. Zorowski's timing not quite right. A nice set from Koski. Grappetine throws Gustavo in the middle, but Zorowski just hit it off the end of his fingers and out. Big spike serve from the ground. Dug up by Edwards. Kill shot. And that time, Zorowski with a sledgehammer on the mark. Well, beautiful set selection from Scott Koski. Whenever an athlete makes a mistake, you want to get him back involved as quickly as possible. Exactly what he did there. 6-4. Big Murray Grappentine with a float serve. Nalbert has it. Set back to Nalbert. Through the power alley. And he has been strong early despite the broken finger. Well, Brinkman, not a lot of international experience as a middle blocker. Got frozen in the middle. He's got to respect Gustavo. You see him there. It's one-on-one. -on -one against Nalbert, and that's all over. Brazil bringing the A-team here tonight to face Canada. Brinkman is stuffed by Jiba at the net. Point, Brazil, and at the technical timeout, they double up on Canada, 8-4. We're back at the Winnipeg Arena, and Martins with a big kill shot. To the baseline and a point for Canada. It's 8-5 Brazil here early in the first set of this men's semifinal. The winner goes directly to the gold medal game against Cuba. Scott Koski with his deadly jump float. Albert has it. And quickly polished off down the middle. Gustavo, a big man for this Brazilian team at 6-8. Not only is he a good blocker, he's very fast in the middle. The objective of that middle attack, get up in the air, present the target as the ball comes to the center, and then just cut the ball off. Good eye by Zorowski, letting that serve from Gustavo go out. Point, Canada, they trail 9-6. Canada, or rather Cuba, and the USA playing in men's basketball at the Investors Group tonight. Don Whitman, Brian Heaney keeping tabs on that. Thanks, Don. It's Brazil leading Canada 11 to 6. Make that 11 7 as Sinheim gets the kill shot off the block. Garth Pischke just finished telling his team during a timeout to settle down. The Canadian team perhaps a little nervous in a big match here tonight, the semifinal against Brazil. McGraw floats it over top of the Canadian block. There's Koski with the set. Back set, Martins, but it's stuffed back down. Douglas and McGraw were right there. Well, Canada right now trying to be too perfect, thinking too much. As Tom Graham, their team psychologist, told me, you've got to have a quiet mind when you're out here playing. 
Jeebus Foden dug up by Sandheim. It's an over bump, and Douglas was there to poach at the net and get an easy point for Brazil. 13-7, they lead. Service reception, a problem for Canada. They have to settle down. Those over bumps, now look at the size of Douglas at the net. He just puts that ball down. Sandheim has been nervous on service received. There's a free ball now for Brazil. And a wallop job down the middle by Douglas. Service, excuse me, Mark, service reception, the key to your offense. If you cannot get that ball up, you can't give your setter the opportunity to pick his target. And now a substitution as Sandheim comes out to settle down, and Jason Trepanier goes in for Canada. And they go right after Trepanier. And a big kill, Raffentine polishes that off. And Trepanier, a very nice job, I can tell you, when you come in as a sub off the bench, not much international experience, you know you're going to get attacked. Trepanier, perfect pass. Jules Marshall has a big serve, and he lets it go, but it's long. And it's a point for Brazil as they move ahead 15 to 8. And as I said, it's a bigger building, it's got a bigger free zone at the end of the court, it's 9 meters, so these Brazilian players can stand well back, get some pace on the ball. Douglas goes at Trepanier again. He'll get the call at the net. It's stuffed off the arm of Koski. And a diving effort in vain by Martins to no avail. A point to Brazil, and they lead Canada 16 to 8. Back at the Winnipeg Arena, where Brazil now leads Canada 17 to 9 with the captain, Albert, in the lineup. But Garth Pischke has said he may use Paul Durden, the number one scoring attacker in the World League this year who went out in the first match of the Pan Am Games with a third degree sprain. He's on the bench, he warmed up, and Garth Pischke says he could play as much as one set. Well, the only problem Durden has right now is moving laterally. He's okay to jump straight up and down. We saw him in the warm-up moving very well. It's just that lateral motion, particularly when you're blocking. Grab in time with a big serve. Ricardo the set, rejected by Brinkman. Ricardo again, this time far side. Now there, it's off the block and out of bounds. And a point for Brazil. Boy, he just brings another dimension to this team. He replaces Ashe, who is a big hitting Attacker, but Nalber, a very smart attacker. Three blockers there off Andy Zorowski's hands and out. Here's Nalber with a big spike serve taken by Zorowski. Koski quick set to Brinkman. The Canadians can't get through the middle. The Canada gets stuck in a rotation where their center is front row, meaning they only have two attackers. The Brazilians do a great job of adjusting. See the block from Jiba taking on the middle. Normally it's middle to middle, but Jiba stepped over. Edwards with the dig. Koski this time backside. What a hammer job on that one. And boy, has he ever done a great job. He came in to replace Paul Durden, and he has just played terrific volleyball. Point Canada, 19-11, the Brazilian lead. Koski with the floater. Oh, it's into the net, and that's a giveaway of a point to Brazil, 20-11. to Canadians seeming tight and nervous here in the early going of this match. Sanheim, the veteran out for Trepanier after bobbing a few interceptions. Far side set. There's Jules Watkins off the block of the center. Ricardo and a point for Canada. Again, good select, set selection from Scott Koski. Ricardo is the blocker on the outside. He's the setter for Brazil. He's the shortest player. So he goes outside. Martin's off his hands. And short is a relative term in volleyball. He's six foot four. And a substitution now for the Canadians as Dustin Reed comes in to serve. Andy Zorowski off. Reed's floater is deep. Now there, Ricardo setting far side. Jiba flying through the air and a massive kill shot for a Brazilian point. Well, two things that you really have to like about Jiba. Number one is the way he gets tremendous elevation and the second is the speed of his arm from the, sh from the shoulder to through to contract. contact. He's just unbelievable. Big dig by Dustin Reed. Far side set to Pena. Dug up, it's an overbump though. Here's Brinkman with the set. Koski. Backside. Martins! What a kill shot! Right off the arms of the liberal Paulino and out for a Canadian point. Well, terrific set selection again from Scott Koski playing a very heads up game, distributing the ball wide. 21 year old Steve Brinkman with the serve. Ricardo far side, the ground winds up off the arm of Koski in self defense. That ball went 40 feet into the air. Now a free ball 
but it's just out of bounds from Jules Martin. So another point for Brazil, 22-13 they lead. Well, the lines people are saying it went outside the antenna. In order to be legal, it must cross the net inside the antenna. Koski setting Martins off the block. Deep Jiba diving, he won't get it. Point Canada. Jules Martins on that right side playing very well. The block has trouble moving over to close. It's late forming. The hands are back, and Martins goes off those hands and way out the back. Martins playing so well, substituting for the injured Paul Durden. So well, the Americans, well, there he blows his serve. The Americans were chirping at him towards the end of that three set Canadian sweep, taunting him and Keith Sandheim into a duking match that did not materialize. Cooler heads prevailing there. 23-14, Brazil leading. Top set there, Koski trying to dump. Brazil waiting for it. Here's now back, off the thigh, and knocking Martins to the surface, and a point for Brazil, they are at set point. Well, now Bear, just so important for this team because he's one of the primary passers as well as a main attacker in the power side. Douglas with a short floater. There's Edwards. Quick set, and Grappentine drills that one right back at Douglas. Grappentine and Koski have that one-two hummer punch. They really have their timing down well together. Reed out now. Zorowski back in for his height at the net, but Canada be in big trouble here at set point. Down 24-15. They need 10 unanswered points. There's a big serve to Nalbert, kept in play by a diving Jiba. Ricardo, the center, will not get it over. Point Canada. Well, that ball looked to be long from Trepanier, but Nalbert not 100% sure, and when you're not sure he did the right thing, he took it. Jiba has to call that ball for him. The Canadian game plan is to go right at Nalbert because of the broken finger. They will go after him at every turn. Again, they go at Nalbert. He's got him this time and winds up. Big dig by Trepanye. Edwards keeps it in play. Here's Martins with a roll shot. Three ball, though, for Brazil. Ricardo over the middle. Necrao with some off speed. And it drops on the Canadian side for a point. And Brazil takes the first set 25-16. Well, Marcelo Negrao, he's only 27 years of age, but he has 500 international matches. He was the star in the Barcelona Olympics where Brazil won gold, so quite a player. So Canada with perhaps a case of nerves as we take one more look at set point. Jules Martins playing the off-speed stuff, but it would be Negrao at the net that fooled Canada as Brazil takes the first set. semi-final in volleyball, Canada, Brazil in a close second set underway right now as now Bear goes through the power alley with that kill. Brazil leading Canada 12 to 8. Well, Canada trying to claw their way back in, but that man trying to do his best to make sure that they don't. He is having a great match considering it's his first match of the tournament. Douglas float serve, Sandheim back in. It's an overbump. He's been nervous and mishandling his passes in this match so far. At the last time out, head coach Garth Pischke telling his team to look them in the eye when you make the block. You're scared of them. You're looking away. Brazilians bringing all of their firepower, their A game and their A team. And there's a good one from Sanheim. It's a little long, though. But it's called a net violation, I believe, by the second referee, the referee Fred Bueller. There's the attack. Marcelo Negrau on the net. So Canada gets the point, 13-9, as Martins takes something off his serve. There's now Bear, and he has been unstoppable tonight. He really has, and you know, he passes in the left back position and then comes up and hits a very fast attack into left front. First to 25 in this rally point scoring system to win. Sandheim with the cross court kill and a net violation called against Brazil. Point Canada. And that's the second net violation in a row, and I can tell you the Brazilian coach does not like that one bit. Head coach, Radames Latari up on his feet. Coach is now allowed to pace up and down the court under the new rule changes. And there's a middle shot from Gustavo. Canada having trouble dealing with the big hitting Brazilians. Latari shouting instructions and up. Pischke more relaxed on the Canadian bench, but his team has got to come back here. 
Another net violation call against Brazil, Point Canada. Now that's the third violation in a row. Brazil really trying to reach as far as they can into the Canadians' court to cut away the hitting angles. Murray Graffentine, the tallest player on the team at 6'11 with a short floater. Ricardo, far side, Jiba has also been unstoppable off the corner for Brazil. At the technical timeout, it's Brazil 16, Canada 11 in the second set of this semifinal. Brazil leading Canada 16-11 in the second set. Brazil winning the first set 25-16. Steve Brinkman walks that one off the bread basket of Gustavo for a Canadian point. Well, it's set up by a nice pass from Keith Sandheim. He's been having a bit of trouble, but he strokes that one up. That's good for the confidence. Sets up. Scott Kosky goes at Paulino. Ricardo down the middle from the back row. And there's the first big stuff block for Canada. Brinkman turning back now there. Well, Steve Brinkman has these telescoping arms. They, see, they seem to just keep going and going. You see them right there. He just rejects that ball. Brinkman, 6-9, what's that? Garth well, Piskey calling the official to blow his whistle to bring play in. There's some confusion here now as Fred Bueller tells Rodamis Latari to move back. Now he's calling Rodamis Latari for a delay of game violation. It's a warning, so it won't result in a point, but the servers cannot serve until the whistle is blown. Now play whistled in. If they get a yellow card, they'll give up a point in the new rules governing volleyball. Jiba. This time the block is there. Ricardo back to Jiba. Over the block. Koski waiting. Brinkman setting. Zorowski is in. And this is the kind of play that we've seen Canada play against the United States. That scramble volleyball. And the successful completions, and that's exactly what you have to do to take Brazil out of their game. Point Canada now 16-14, and for the first time tonight, Brazil calls a timeout to break the Canadian momentum. This Brazilian team has one of the greatest volleyball traditions in the world. As we look on at the captain, now Bear, they've never missed an Olympics since 1956. They've always qualified for the World Championships, Charles, and they've played in all 10 years of the World League, which is like the NHL of volleyball. Well, there's 160 million people in Brazil. It's one of the top sports, both on the beach and in the gymnasia. And I tell you, there are thousands and thousands of players and they are outstanding players. They are very deep. They have a tremendous number of juniors that are pushing these veterans to get court time. There are the Brazilian women who defeated the Dominican Republic in their semifinal and will advance to the gold medal game against their arch rivals, Cuba. Paulino, Douglas, far side. Agrao over the block. Koski had it! Oh, and it falls out. Tremendous impact as the ball rebounded off his chest right over the net. Well, Negrau is a very heavy ball hitter. The ball actually doesn't look like it's hit that hard until it hits your body, and then it just explodes up. That serve, long from the Brazilian setter, Ricardo, point Canada. It's a two-point second set. Well, it's very important at this part of the, part of the set that Canada plays compo composed. Ricardo, back set, Jiba right at Koski. He took the full impact of that, but couldn't harness it. Point, Brazil. Excellent set from Garcia, and Garcia is the second setter on this team. Mauricio Lima, the number one setter, did not make the trip to the Pan Am Games. That's good. Edwards has it, quick set, Brinkman. Drilled that right at the head of Polino. And you can sense Canada starting to find their form. They've shaken out the bugs, and now they're just playing freely. They were so tight coming out. Now they've relaxed, as you've noted, Charles. Brinkman serve. They're going to Nalbert. Off the block, kept in play. They've been getting to get to that block now. Again, stuck block at that point. Canada, no. So that ball was hit off the block, but it went out of bounds. And I tell you, that's how hard the growl hits. You can't even tell whether it's in or out while you're still up in the air blocking. They just thought they had a point there. Good eye to Sandheim. Let's Douglas' serve sail out of bounds. 
19-17. Brazil clinging to a two-point lead. Douglas out, the libero, Paulino in. They serve it to him. Ricardo, far side. Now there was some cross-court kill. And another point for Brazil. Perfect service reception from the Brazilians, and they've been doing that throughout the match. When you do that, you isolate one-on-one. -on -one. Koski, here's Martin he's taking something off it. Free ball, the ground. Here's Canada. Oh, some mistakes on the Canadian side. Now they get it back. Sandheim and now Bear, he makes the dig, now gets the kill shot. Stop block! Murray Graffentine! Graffentine gets over. He's going to take the radical angle away. Take a look at it here. The outside hand up and over the net when you press through the abdomen. You don't swing your arms, otherwise you'll make a mistake. It's just up and over, one motion. Graffentine looking right into the eyes of Nalbert and stuffing his kill. Here's the crowd off the block and out. Point, Brazil. And every big team in the world has a go-to guy. The growl for this team, whenever they are in trouble, they'll release to him wherever he is. Garth Pischke now preparing a substitution, perhaps. Looking for some fresh arms and legs in the late stages of the second set. 21-18, Brazil leading Canada. Martin's back row. Dug up by Nalbert. Captain play by Paulino. Here's the growl over the top and down. Well, I'll tell you, one of the hardest things to do is to keep your eyes open when a projectile is hurtling towards your head. But on plays like that, you really know if the blockers have their eyes open. Murray Grappentine out hanging the growl, rejecting that ball. And there's the substitution that Garth Piskey was contemplating. David Cantor, 6'9 and a half, coming in for Koski, the setter, who's only 6'4. So some height looking for the block here. Canada at the net. Ricardo, Chiba through the block, and they pile around the, the feet of Sandheim. And a point for Brazil. They lead it 22 19. Well, the whole objective of running a great offense is to isolate. We used to call it isolate and humiliate. You go one on one to the outside. 95% of the time, the attacker is going to score. Gustavo serving for Brazil. Sandheim to Koski. Back row. It's off speed stuff from Mark. Back comes Jiba. It's in. Jiba, just a fabulous performer. We saw him earlier in the tournament against Brazil. Almost carried this Brazilian team. Just a wonderful arm swing. Canada battling here late in the second set, trailing by four, 23-19. The first team to 25 in the rally point scoring system will clean this second set. We're not getting any digs. We've got one in five and we're in good shape. Garth Piskey trying to exhort his players to get some digs. Well, Garth Piskey and his team need to earn a few points. Canada down 23-19. These guys are hitting the ball well. We're just taking Wait, a listen. This by making a dig here. They're hitting the ball high. Hey, Canada, have to make a dig, get a transition opportunity, and score points. You cannot just trade serves with Brazil at this late stage of this set. Now Bear and Jiba, each with 10 points off kills so far for Brazil. They've got to stop that offense. Canada has any chance here. Costa to Zorowski, off the chest of Gustavo, still in play, Jiba. Now Bear back row, Sandheim digs it up. Costa setting, Martins off the block, off the head of Brinkman, still in play, but a free ball for Brazil. Ricardo, out! Douglas misses, point Canada. Well, Ricardo going for the fake there, trying to make Canada think that he was gonna hit that ball, took too long to fake, the set, off position, and Douglas hit it out. Former Bison, Koski, goes after Polino. Here's Jiba. He blew that shot right into the net. Another point, Canada. It's 23-22. Again, another setting error. The ball set a little bit too high. Jiba in too soon. Correction, 23-21 on the score. A two-point margin for Brazil. Koski at Polino again. Ricardo to Negrau. Look at Zorowski, that outside hand. Now, as 
as the ball makes contact, he's going to reach and try to wrap his hands around it. He's going to make sure that his forearm is angled back into court. That's where the ball goes. Gustavo, the top blocker in the world, looking on as head coach Radames Latari, who was named coach of this team just two years ago. Got a bronze medal in the World League and a fourth place finish at the World Championship. Garth Pishby still looking calm and confident. His team beginning to rise to the occasion. And what he's saying to his team is they're going to go high ball outside to number seven, Jiba. There's Garth's dad, Henry, who has been at every match during this tournament, wearing the red and white of Canada, looking on along with this big crowd here at the Winnipeg Arena. A deep breath from Koski and his float. To Polino again. Ricardo, back row. Negro is stuffed again! Point Canada! That's Steve Brinkman! Well, a carbon copy of the last play. Andy Zorowski blocks very well on that left side. For Team Canada, it's exactly the same. Now look at his position. He's taking away the cross court. He's challenging. Make him hit line. Koski again with a big serve. Jiba is stopped! Just putting up a huge wall at the net right now. Henry Piski on his feet, along with the rest. And Brazil calls another timeout to try to stem this Canadian rise. Now, hold it now. Brazil's already called two timeouts. If that's a third timeout, that should be a violation. Well, Garth Piski is talking to the down referee, Fred Mueller, about that now. Nobody, nobody seemed to be sure what was going on there. So Latari proceeds, and it looks like Brazil will get away with a third timeout. Well, Canada raising the level of their game, starting to groove on the timing of the attackers. We got to honor the middle. I got to get one, boys. Stay deep and dig them. Listen to the confidence in that Canadian huddle. Okay, we've got to honor the middle, but they're going to go outside to seven. That's Jiva. Stay deep and let's dig them. A huge opportunity for the Canadians here against this powerhouse from Brazil. Set point, 24-23. Koski serving. Polito has it. Ricardo, two glass. What a game! But Canada can't retrieve it from Sandheim. We're tied at 24. Very solid play from Ricardo. Garcia going into the middle to Dugala. Sandheim just a little bit late. And now Ricardo, the 23-year-old setter, back to serve, 24-24. Edwards has it. Brinkman misses the big kill. Here comes Ziba. Over the block, Sandheim has the dig. Koski back setting Zorowski. It's in! Point Canada. That's a fabulous attack from Andy Zorowski. He only had a one-step approach. He's on his weak side. He's up against the three-man block, and he puts it right on the line. 25-24. And once again, a substitution in a key serving situation. Dustin Reed comes off the bench for Zorowski. Brinkman, Martins, and Sandheim are at the net. Match, or rather, set point. 25-24, Canada. Ricardo, Jiba blocked, and off the block. And Brazil extends this set. And I tell you, Brazil will make you earn every single point, particularly towards the end of matches. And they're making a substitution now. Ashe, number two, coming in for Nalbert. He's bigger, he's a little more powerful. They're going to try to go with that big stuff block. Ashe is a big man, and he's got lots of spring. 25-25. Jiba set to serve for Brazil. You must win by two. Sandheim has the dig, and a good pass to Koski. Back row, Martins off the block, saved by Polino. Ricardo back setting the growl and the cross court kill. Point Brazil. The growl just threading the needle, putting that ball in between Brinkman and Sandheim. Set point now for Brazil, 26 25. And Pischke calls a Canadian timeout. Tensions rising in this Winnipeg arena. Canada so close to evening this match at a set apiece. Well, just a few weeks ago, these teams went at it. One of the sets went 44-42. It's a new scoring system. Play it to 25. Listen to Garth Pischke. Right here, we get it back, and then we go after. Okay. 
Karen Pitschke, always a competitor, a two-time Olympian now, showing some toughness here, trying to instill that in this team. He wants this set. They need it. They can't go down 2-0. They'd be forced into having to win three sets in a row to win this match. G but a serve, 26-25 Brazil for the set. Edwards has it. Pass it. Setting Sandheim. It's out. And not off the block. Brazil wins the second set. 27-25. Well, that ball was set just a little bit low. Keith Sandheim aware of that block, trying to get a piece of it, and hits it out of bounds. Brazil wins the second set, 27-25. And so Brazil goes up two sets to none in this best of five men's semifinal and the blood pressure beginning to recede here at Winnipeg Arena in a stellar second set. Back to Brian Williams. Mark Lee, thank you. Outstanding second set. As I said earlier in the week, it doesn't matter if it's the Olympic Games or the Pan American Games, volleyball, both men and women, always one of the most popular sports. The reason is the tremendous activity, the tremendous play you just saw, but also it is a sport that is a true television sport. It's almost made for TV. Minimal number of cameras give you the great shots. And of course, you've got that big ball. So Brazil goes up two sets to none. We'll have the third set in just a minute after the break. And we'll update you on quarterfinals in baseball tonight. Lots happening as we continue with coverage of these, the 13th Pan American Games from here in Winnipeg. Let's get back to the third set. Men's volleyball semifinal, Brazil, Canada. Mark Lee and Charles Parkinson. Mark Lee, I'm not sure you've uh, been able to catch your breath after that <laughs> wild second set, but uh, take it away in the third. I'll tell you, Charles and I were taking our pulse there, and we were up close to 200, I think, for a minute. That was an exciting second set. Uh, a tough loss for Canada, 27-25, and here it's 4-2 Brazil in the third set. This Brazilian team, many experts, picking to be the team to win the gold in Sydney 2000. So much bench strength and experience as the Canadians get another point and close the margin to one. Well, you know, this team lost only three sets in ten matches at the World Championships before going down in a thrilling five-set loss to Italy in the semifinals. So you're absolutely right. One of the best teams in the world. Well, there's Douglas, the number one spiker this year in the World League peppering that one straight down. Take a look at that very fast approach and see how Ricardo leads him, takes him away from the blocker. Over bump, and there's Gustavo, that's a giveaway. Well, a tough serve from Douglas. They're going with a sharp angle serve, trying to serve it to Jules Martins to take him out of this rotation. 6-3, the Brazilian lead, Douglas, this time to Zorowski, Koski, off speed. And a clever shot at the net by Jules Martins. Well, very nice heads up play from Jules Martins, but an extremely athletic set from Scott Koski off a very poor pass, but he puts it in the right position, and Jules Martins with a little tip. The number one serving player in this tournament, Zorowski, goes to Nelbert. Ricardo, quick set to Gustavo, and he pumps that one right back at Zorowski. Well, a beautiful combination. One man up front quick, one man about three meters away quick, and the release on the outside. The growl floating to Edwards, the libero. Brakeman stuffed back down. The number one blocker in the world, Gustavo, with the point for Brazil, and they lead Canada 8-4 in the third. In the third set. Back to men's volleyball, this semifinal match between Brazil and Canada. Brazil leading Canada 8-4 as Joel comes in to substitute for Negrau and the serve. The winner of this will go to the gold medal match versus Cuba, the loser to the bronze medal match against Argentina. Now Bear, right down the line for Brazil and the point. Well, the block set up cross court, a little bit of space between the outside blocker's hands and the antenna. Take a look at it here. And boy, that's what you call threading the needle, scoring the point. Joel has a fierce serve that time right into the net, and Canada will get the point. Back to serve for Canada, Steve Brinkman, 21-year-old from Bowmanville, Ontario. There's a stop block. 
Murray Grappentine and the first block in this set for Canada. Well, a commit block from Murray Grappentine. He stayed with Gustavo, anticipating he was going to get set. That's exactly what happened, and he stuffed him. Until then, Brazil was five for five in attacks. Far side, now Bear through the power alley with a sledgehammer of a kill shot and a Brazilian point. And you can see why Nalbert is the captain of this team. He is such a solid performer. Wait a minute, the linesman saying that that perhaps was out. Talking with the head referee, Salvatore Ortiz of Peru. I can see you. Yes, he's asking him to move over to the side. Obviously not very happy with being chastised by the, by the head referee. Well, he was raising his flag, saying that that was out. Now Scott Kosky saying, just come because on. you come didn't on, see on, it, on, it means it didn't happen. So chastising Kosky and the linesman. Salvatore Ortiz of Peru drawing some booze from the crowd here at the Winnipeg Arena. 10-6 Brazil. Kosky, Zanhan rising way up. Diva with what a day. Phenomenal defense. Brazil noted for their defense. One of the best digging teams, unafraid. Able to strap on those hard driven spiders. What a slugfest. Canada and Brazil, and the point goes to Brazil. 11 6 their lead. Now Bear goes at Sandheim. Down the pipe. Murray Greffin time with the Canadian point. Perfect combination, it's called a 51 in the middle of the court, zone five, about one foot above the net. Good execution. Jules Martins takes something off, they're always serving the broken finger of now there. And there's Joel knocking Martins off his feet with the kill for a point. Well, I tell you, he has unbelievable leaping ability. He's got to be hitting at 12 feet. Take a look at that, look how high he gets, he's from the pack row. Long arms extending fully into the ball. Some of these big men can reach 11 and a half feet. Rapid time taken by Gustavo. Now Bear. Keep it in play. Back to Gustavo. Edwards now. Candidate transition. Back row. With a big smack. And a point for Canada. And Brazil having all kinds of trouble with Jules Martin's arm swing. Watch now. He waits so long before he pulls the trigger. He's up in the air with the arm caught. Blockers trying to anticipate the swing, but they just cannot get their timing. And off the right side, he's a southpaw that gives him an advantage. Here's Jiba. That's blocked, but way out of bounds. Martins tried to get it, but it was over the scorer's table. A point for Brazil. 13-8, they lead Canada in the third set. Up two sets to none. Canada between a rock and a hard place now. They have to win three sets in a row. That's out. Point Canada, 13-9. Cardo missing as Murray Grappentine goes back to serve. Floater. Deep. Rather short to now there. Joel winding up off the block and out of play. Point Brazil. Big power from Joel against a three man Canadian block. Just so much power. It's blown off the hands and way into the stands. Chiba. Zorowski gets the serve, set, comes it off of Polino. We saw Joel try to kick the ball. That's legal in volleyball, but it didn't work that time. Well, any part of the body that can bring that ball up is a legal play, and you'll see these Brazilians use their feet from time to time when their body's out of position. Point Canada, 14-10, hanging tough. Koski, the jump floater, knuckleball. Far side set, now Bear. Off the hand of Jules Martins and out with point Brazil. Well, so frustrating to play against a player like Nalbert because when he's one on one, he can really hammer the ball, but when he knows there's a big block, he never goes into the heart of the block. He always goes for the hands. Douglas Chiarotti serves Zorowski. The set is to Martins right through the power alley, but it looked like it was outside. Yes, it's outside the antenna. So that's an illegal play, it's a violation, and that costs a point. With the point at the technical timeout, it's Brazil 16, Canada 10.
major substitution. Paul Durton is coming into this match. Remember, he was injured with a third-degree ankle sprain in the first match of the tournament. This is his first appearance back since then, making an unbelievable recovery. Reed serving. It's out. So Canada gives up a point. Brazil leading 18 to 11. Durden, one of the top attackers in the world. Well, the whole Canadian offense was built around Paul Durden. When he went out, it took Canada a match and a half to get used to not having him there. And Joel goes right after Durden, and he makes the dig. But it's a free ball, a sky ball here on the Brazilian side. Ricardo back row, G ball right down the pipe. What firepower. Well, Brazil is just playing in another dimension. They are 13 for 14 in this set. Look at Jiba get up and split that block. Here comes Joel again with a huge serve, taking something off it, but Durden has it. Quick set, and Brinkman kills that one for a Canadian point. It's good for Paul Durden to get a couple of passes, a couple of touches of the ball to get into this match. Both Durden and Martins are at the net for Canada. Polino with the dig, Ricardo, back row set, off speed, and some confusion in the Canadian backcourt after you, Alphonse. Well, it looked to me like everybody everybody was watching Durden there, and nobody was watching the big hole in the court. Point for Brazil, and a big lead, 20 to 12 in the third set. Now Bear, taken by Reed, quick set, stop, free ball now for Brazil. Ricardo, far side, Giba. And he is simply perfect. Well, he's just unstoppable. He's a very smart attacker, too. He could see Jules Martins was going to go up and take away the cross court, and he merely went down the line. Brazil turning up the heat now, 21-12. But the serve from now there is long, so the string is snapped. Canada gets the point. Martins back to serve. He's got a good spike serve. Will he go full speed? Yes, big serve at Polino. He has it, though. Back set to well, right at the libero, Bruce Edwards, and a point. That looked like it went right over top of Scott Kosky on the outside. And these smart centers, they're going to go wherever Scott Kosky is because he's the shortest man out there. Stavo serving to Martin. Kosky, far side. Paul Dern with his first attack and a point for Canada. Well, I'll tell you, that is really something, you know, third degree sprain, and to be playing one week later is really remarkable. 22 14. With the point and another substitution, Reed is out, Andy Zorowski back in. Paul Durden to serve the floater and a little rust after being off for more than a week. Point for Brazil. Garth Pischke. Looking on, challenging his team to get tough on defense. They're down deep here. Martins has the dig. Quick set back row. Dirt is rejected for a Brazilian point. Douglas and Jiba not fooled whatsoever by that set from Scott Kosky, faking like he's going to go outside. The back set. Match point. Ricardo out. Martins let that go at the last minute. Point for Canada, 24-15. But it's a tough road now. Repentine taken, Ricardo. Joel, it's out. Joel's kill shot sails long. Another point for Canada. Murray Grappentine serving again. It's match point, and that's the game. Grappentine service error seals the victory for Brazil, 25-16 in the third. Well, Brazil clearly the superior team. Canada, a case of nerves in the first set, showed absolute brilliance late stages of the second set, and then Brazil just too consistent in that third set to close Canada out. So Brazil sweeps Canada to advance to the gold medal match against Cuba. Canada will now go to the bronze medal game against Argentina, a team they gave a big fight in the round robin.